Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shorup Sir's classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM Economics paper 2023 question number 26. A uh, production function at a time t is given by this expression where y is the output, k is the capital, l is labor and a is the level of total factor productivity. We define small yt as capital yt by lt and the capital output ratio small kt as capital kt by capital yt. The, then we need to find the per capita output growth rate is how much. Okay. So let's write down the production function. yt is equals to at kt to the power alpha lt to the power 1 minus alpha. To convert it into per capita form, we divide it by LT throughout. So this will basically give us YT by LT is equals to AT will be staying out. So that would become KT by LT to the power alpha. Okay. Now check over here. We have a notation for yt by lt which is small yt but kt by lt which is on the right side doesn't have a notation. My small kt is basically capital kt by yt. So in order to use this we will make a slight adjustment over here. Divide the numerator and denominator by yt on the RHS. The power alpha. So that will basically make it small yt is equals to at on the numerator kt by yt is small kt and lt by yt is basically 1 by small yt. So this is basically making yt is equals to at kt into yt to the power alpha. So if you take the yt on the left so yt to the power 1 minus alpha is equals to a t small k t to the power alpha. So if you take log and differentiate, so 1 by alpha y t dot by y dot is equals to a dot by a plus alpha times small k t dot by a dot. So what is your small yt dot by y dot that is 1 by 1 minus alpha a dot by a plus alpha by 1 minus alpha small kt dot by small kt and if you look at the options that is matching with option number a thank you Now let us come to question number 28 of the IIT JAM economics paper 2023. X follows normal 0, 1 and we define a variable Y as mod X. Then the PDF of Y is Fy. Then we need to find root over pi by 2 Fy expression. So first of all we need to find out the CDF of Y which is capital F of Y. So that is basically the probability capital Y is less than equals to a value small y. By definition capital Y is mod of X less than equals to small y. So that will make it probability of minus Y less than equals to X less than equals to small y. So we are given in the question that X follows a standard normal distribution. So normal 0 1. So that means it's symmetric about 0. So this expression can be written as 2 times the probability from 0 less than equals to x less than equals to y. So this can be written as given the PDF of the standard normal distribution. So that will be from 0 to y 1 by root 2 pi e to the power minus z square by 2 dz. Now from the CDF we need to arrive at the PDF of y which is basically small fy which is nothing but the derivative correct so we need to use the Leibniz expression so that would be 2 times 
1 by root 2 pi e to the power minus y by 2 into derivative of 5 which is 1 minus 0. So the PDF turns out to be root over 2 by pi e to the power minus y by 2. So if you take the root over pi by 2 on the left, so this expression turns out to be e to the power minus y square by 2. So if you look at the options, that is matching with option number. Thank you.